guys, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to do a little get ready with me for a family picnic. Um, I haven't done anything like this in a really long time, so I thought maybe it would be a nice change of pace for the channel. I'm going to try to start uploading more often. I have been just chilling outside by the pool, if you can't tell by the sweat. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I thought I would just do like my makeup on camera and then figure out my outfit. It's just a cute little picnic, um, nothing too fancy, but I think it'll be fun. Okay, so I don't really know what makeup look I'm going for. I don't think I really wanna wear any like face makeup because it's summer, so I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia brow gel in the shade dark brown, and I've always preferred a pomade over anything else because I think it's just easier. And my eyebrows need a lot of help. They're like a weird color where even though I have a lot of eyebrow hair, they don't really like show up well on my face. It's almost like they're gray. I've been using this brow gel for several years and it's my favorite because it lasts so long and it's actually not that expensive and Anastasia is a good brand. And they're especially known for their eyebrow products, I feel like. So I don't know why, but I've always done my eyebrows first and it doesn't really matter, especially because I'm not wearing face makeup. I just use this angled brush and try to like feather it at the beginning. Obviously just like fill in at the tail. And then I like to take a Q-tip, I get it wet, and then I just like outline my brow. And this is kind of like if you were wearing a full face of makeup, you do this with concealer. I am not obviously wearing concealer, so I just do it with a Q-tip. I do this every day because with a pomade, sometimes you can kind of like get messy and go outside of your actual eyebrow. And this just cleans it up, so. Now my eyebrows are on, and I'm going to use this Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. I've been using this for, I think, like two years now, maybe even less, but it's my favorite. It literally locks your brows, and it gives you kind of like the soap brow effect if you want it to, but it can also be kind of like just keep them where they are. But I like to use like the flat part of the brush and just brush upwards to kind of lift my face um and give the soap brow effect and then sometimes like if it's too crazy that honestly doesn't look that bad but i'll take my spoolie and like straighten out the edge there on the tail so i'm gonna do the same thing just straighten it out a little bit and then sometimes i'll even go back in with my um angled brush while it's still wet and like individually place the hairs where i want them okay so those are the brows and they look very intense when i don't have any of my eye makeup on because my eyelashes are basically non-existent until i have mascara on because they're actually really long but you can't see them without mascara i might do like a light little eyeshadow thing i want it to be very like casual i don't know I don't really know what palette I want to use. Okay, I think I'm going to take my Morphe 35XO palette. This is my newest palette. I barely have touched it, as you can see. I got this when I worked at Ulta, and um, obviously I got an employee discount, so I would buy a lot of makeup there. Don't work there anymore, just because I went back to school, and I don't really like working for other people. I'd rather be self-employed. I think I'm just going to take like a light brown shade and... Just put it in my crease and then maybe like a lighter shade on my lid. I don't really want it to be like super noticeable. Maybe I'll go with like a warm shade. Maybe this one. I'm really bad about makeup and like washing my brushes. And I don't know the proper way to take care of my makeup. Which is ironic that I used to work at Ulta. <laughs> and I'm also not a professional at makeup at all. I really just kind of see how it looks. And I also have hooded eyes. So... Anything I put in my crease kind of disappears, but see, like, you can barely see it until I go like this, and then it's all there. Also, sorry if you hear my chair. She's very loud. Okay, I think that's enough. Again, it doesn't really matter because you can't see it. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna put, like, a cream color on my lid. Okay, this is an old e.l.f. brush. I really just use whatever I have. Um, I'm gonna go in with this like cream shade and just tap it on my lid. I just finished reading the book A Happy Place by um, Emily Henry. I've finished reading it in like three days because it was so good. 
and I've read a few other Emily Henry books and I think she's one of my favorite authors. I don't know, I just really like her writing style. It doesn't feel as like corny as a lot of the books in that kind of category tend to feel. I especially, I think this is my favorite book of hers that I've read, but I also, I know I've read Beach Read, but I can't remember if I've read any of her other books. I think People We Meet on Vacation is one of hers. I haven't read that one. So at least I know I have more books that I can read from her. Um, now I'm gonna go back in with that same like orangey shade and put it on my waterline down here. I always love to darken up my waterline because um, again, my bottom lashes are invisible until mascara is put on them, but I think it really helps to add the product on the waterline as well. I might actually go in with like a slightly darker shade than the first one. So you just like add so much, it makes my eyes look better. Sometimes I'll just like smudge it out with my finger a little bit. We're very unprofessional here. Okay, so I think that's fine. Obviously not perfect, but who's gonna really be looking at my makeup like that? This is a family event, they probably won't even notice. And next I'm gonna curl my lashes with this Rose Gold Tweezerman eyelash curler. This is the best lash curler ever. I found it because of Kaylee Boyle. I don't know if anyone else watches her channel here, but I love her videos. Um, and she has amazing lashes and she would rave about this and so I bought it finally I was looking at it for so long and then I finally just bought it because it's like $20 I think which is like mm, do you really want to spend that on a lash color but it is worth it it makes it has made my eyelashes look so much better I really just get in there and clamp press several times and you can see already much more curly than these. Next I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara Primer. I don't even remember when I started using primer on my lashes, but it is a game changer. It makes them so much like thicker and it's also, it helps when you are going to remove your mascara. It protects your lashes. This I added like a few drops of contact solution to because it was drying out and now it like is like brand new. That's a little life hack for you. You can do that to mascaras too. This just helps to thicken my lashes because like I mentioned before, they're very thin. Um, even though they're long, I got like kind of Asian lashes. <laughs> Put that on my bottom ones too. You can see the white face. It's very dramatic. Okay, so once I have that on, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational. This has been my girl for the past several years. I just haven't found a mascara that I like better than it. Even like the higher end ones, I don't like as much. Um, and this is amazing because it's a drugstore mascara. It has gotten more expensive over the years. Like I remember when I first started wearing it, I think it was like $6 and now it's like 10 and 12 in some places. Like in the city, it's 12 because everything's more expensive in the city, but it's worth it. Still saving money because those high-end mascaras can be up to like $40 and it's so dumb. So I just kind of like to start at the tip of my lashes. I kind of just blink as I apply to keep that curl that we had earlier. Sometimes I'll like use the wand vertically to get the outer lashes. Okay, so there is one coat on my lashes, just the top ones, and then I'm gonna go in on the bottom, being careful not to get it under my eyes because I'm sometimes messy with that but that's why we have the other end of the q-tip that I use to clean up my eyebrows I go through one q-tip per day at least to shape my eyebrows and clean up any of the mascara that I got on my eyelid or on the lash lower lash line this particular tube is kind of drying out right now so these results aren't as amazing as like a newer tube of this mascara is but it still does a wonderful job and like i said you can add contact solution like a few drops to your mascaras to get them to be less dry but this mascara honestly does a good job of like not drying out too quickly i normally i i, I just use a lot of mascara so i normally will go through one tube every like month and a half to two months i guess i don't even know if that's bad i don't know it's normal maybe that's normal maybe it's a lot but 
my lashes are like my babies they're like my favorite thing to make look pretty plus blush blush is actually probably my favorite step of makeup and it's been like a huge trend lately so yeah i'm actually still using a powder blush which you guys will see in a second but i have experimented with liquid blushes and i just feel like they don't blend well on my skin but again i've only tried a handful i haven't tried the rare beauty ones which I feel like I really should because those got a lot of hype. Let me know what you guys use for blush. Because I have the NARS liquid blush and I have the NARS powder blush. And I just prefer the powder. I just think it's honestly prettier. And I feel like the liquid one doesn't blend out that well. Unless I'm using it wrong. But I've also wanted to try like Glossier Cloud Paint and the Rare Beauty one. But I just feel like it's so much work. Liquid products are so much work to me. Okay, so I'm done with this mascara. I don't do this every day, but if I want a little extra volume, I'll go in with the Rimmel London Scandalize. And this one is just very, like, heavy. I don't really know what the word for it is. But I just kind of go back in. I don't even know if there's much of a difference, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something, so. I think it does help on the bottom lashes, though, for sure. So I'm gonna go back in with that q-tip from earlier and clean up like Okay, the eyes are all complete um, Now I'm gonna go in with my blush. I was talking about earlier. This is the NARS um, I don't even know what the actual product is called, but it's in orgasm. This is like the most popular shade I love this color especially when I'm tan. I feel like it looks so pretty and I just go in very generously with this this acts almost as a highlighter and a blush because there's little like sparkles in it, which I know some people don't like, but I think it's pretty because they're like golden and I get a lot of compliments on this blush whenever, I mean, I wear it every day. So <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of compliments on it. I like to kind of like spread it up here too, just to give me that like sun-kissed look. I don't know. So that's all you really need blush and then i will go in with my hula bronzer bronzer contour kind of scare me in general i feel like i always either underdo it or overdo it and i don't know what color looks good on me but i'm gonna go in with my or my nose contour brush with a little bit of the bronzer on it and i just go along my natural nose line obviously and then i like to put some on the little on the bridge to make me look Again, a little sun-kissed, which I have a little bit of a natural <laughs> sun-kissed effect right now because I was in the sun. And then I'm gonna take this brush and just like go on my cheekbones kind of lightly because like I said, I'm a little scared of bronzer and looking silly. A little bit on the forehead, jawline. I'm not gonna do any actual contouring today because I feel like that only looks good when you have like a base. Um, and then I think the last step honestly is my lips. These two products are amazing. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner, which is so popular. And it just matches my lip color really well. So it, I kind of can get away with overlining and it needs to be sharpened, which is what I was just digging for. So I'm just gonna go in with this. I overline a little bit, not like a crazy amount, um, mostly on the bottom lip. Okay, there's the overline. And then I'm gonna go in with the Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Dolce Vita. I had a sample of this in the same color as my blush, the orgasm color, but um, this is very similar. And I just love this because it doesn't feel like a lipstick. It really does feel like a lip balm, but it adds just like a natural little wash of color to your lips. It's not like overwhelming. So that's pretty much it, I think. I'm gonna put rollers in my hair. That is all I do for makeup, really. I still have to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Here's my makeup and natural lighting. I feel like it looked kind of weird over there. Very natural look for today. Just kind of like a casual thing. And now I have to figure out what I wanna wear. I have a whole separate closet of my dresses and I think it's a dress day. It's either a dress day or a skirt day. I'm not gonna wear pants. So I have to go see what I have because honestly, I forget a lot. This is terrifying. This is where all my dresses lie. Like, I don't know what the vibe is. I might wear my graduation dress if I can even find it. Like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I need to go through this and like sell some stuff and donate some stuff because I definitely don't wear all of these. 
Okay, so this is option one. Um, this was what I wore to graduation. And I don't know, I think it would be cute, but it's also like, I don't know, if I want to wear it around my family. <laughs> so these are my skirts and I'm gonna try to come up with an outfit and we'll see if it happens. I don't know if I like this. I don't know why, but I've been so obsessed with these boots I thrifted. They're just little like riding boots and I wanted to wear them. So of course I based my whole outfit around it. Actually, everything is thrifted. <laughs> um, I feel like a little ranch girl, kind of. But I think if I accessorize it correctly, it could work. Okay, did it. I ended up not curling my hair. Because I was lazy, but I think it looks cute. And since my ears are out now, I'm going to add <laughs> some more earrings. Because I have four holes on my lobes, but I never use them. I got these earrings from a jeweler in New York. One of those wholesale jewelry places, except... They let you buy like individual which i don't know if it's legal i don't think it's illegal so i have these big ones are from amazon and then these two smaller ones are from that jeweler and they're very affordable and everything is like plated so i have sensitive ears but these earrings don't really bother me so it's just the hoop and then a heart i do that on both sides and then i'm pretty much done okay so this is where I've landed whole outfit is thrifted so I can't really help you with that um, as to where to get these things but um, if you want me to make like an Amazon storefront with kind of like dupes to the things that I have let me know I don't think that's anything anyone would want but I guess this is the vibe I'm going for a little ranch girl and we're going to a farm so I guess it's on brand Thank you guys so much for watching this casual little video. It's kind of different from what I normally do, but I really enjoyed it. So if you guys like casual videos, then please give it a thumbs up so I know what you think. Um, if you don't like them, that's okay. I'm still planning on doing a ton of album to explain videos, covers, um, commentary videos. I'm trying to come up with a bunch of ideas for this channel because I like uploading on here and um, I have an audience, so I really feel like I should entertain you guys. Um, I've gained quite a few subscribers over the past month, which is very surprising to me because I haven't really uploaded. But if you're new here, thank you so much for being here and thank you for subscribing and watching and supporting any way you do. And I think that's going to be it for this video. I will have a lot more coming for you guys in the upcoming weeks. Um, I have a lot of plans and I'm really excited. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!